The story is uh, from Lauren Eastley, and this is about a little boy on the beach, and he's actually throwing starfish into the water, and a gentleman comes by and questions why he's doing that, and he says, well, I'm trying to save the uh, starfish, and he says, you can't save all, all of them. He says, no, but I can save this one, and that's what it's about. Hello, I'm here at the parking lot right behind Rockford Community Access, City of Champions, Public Education and Government Access Station. We're here celebrating the mural that says make a difference. And we've been talking to some dignitaries, city dignitaries, we've been talking to the artist, her family, and it's a great community event with multiple vendors out here helping the community with health. Uh, any sort of issue they might have, social issue, health issue, they're out here helping the community. We also have some fun games, snow cones, popcorn, pizza, a good time for everybody. Children are out here dancing, we got the DJ playing music. It's a great time here on a Saturday afternoon in Brockton. And this is all about community and it's all about making a difference. Sends the message that we care in Brockton, that um, we're improving, uh, we, uh, we're, we're vibrant, we're colorful, um, we, want to, we want to make things look you know, aesthetically pleasing, welcoming, and, um, uh, and, and attractive. So the concept we have going on here is we have the few kids that are working on like throwing the starfish back and um, I just wanted to create something colorful to bring some vibrance and some color into this this area here and um, I wanted to include a few different kids so not just the one throwing the starfish in but some other people trying to make a difference as well and then the old man who is standing next to the boy he's asking him what's going on what are you doing and then so I kind of wanted to just tie everything together with a bunch of colors and um, yeah Jessica has taken it to a whole nother, nother level. She puts so much joy in everything she does. And it's just impressive to see all the work that she's done and how it's touched so many people. So we're just really proud of her. She's just always been a light. And to see her out here working on this, she's, I mean, we're just so proud of her. And she's proud to do something for the community. And she's met so many people while she's been out here. And she's been thriving on it. She loves it. She loves art and people. I had to come. I, 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 I know Jessica. I know her father. And she does make a difference. And this is this is just a great time. Everybody should be out here and take a look at this. It's about making a difference in the city of Brockton. It's about all of us coming together, communities, a very diverse city, Gateway City. We're all important, we're all together, and we're all one. So we have to come together, make a difference for the city of champions and move us forward. Our original goal was to work with addicts and alcoholics seeking recovery, their families, friends, and the community. Um, through our unique art form, Recovery Graffiti. And what we did was, graffiti gets a bad rap, so we chose to turn a negative into a positive and turn graffiti into a beautiful art form. And that's what we've done. Yeah, so it's a mix of like house paint, so exterior paint, and then um, spray paint. So here, the sky is completely spray paint, and so is the ocean, and then everything else is um, brushwork. This mural is beautiful. I, it's going to be, it's a great community effort to bring out the people and show the people what we're working, working for, which is making a difference in our community and positive things and working together. When I was working, I met a bunch of people, very, very kind, and one person said something that stood out to me. They were a fellow artist, and so we were talking while they came by, and they were like, when you have nothing, at least you have art. And so that's really something that I stand by because... You, it never goes away. It's something you can always hold on to, and I think that's really important to have that one thing for yourself that you can always fall back on, whether it be a person or something you're interested in. I think that's that's great. You know, Brockton, we're the only city in Plymouth County. We're a big city, and a lot of people don't realize the resources that we have here, and there are a lot of vendors. I just spoke with some of the gentlemen at PAC, I believe, it down at the end there, and what they're doing is amazing. They're helping, uh, you know, people that need housing and workforce, they're um, getting them 
uh, housing and work. I mean, that's that's what this uh, this is what the city needs, what a lot of our population needs, especially in these um, you know in these hard times. But I see everything from you know nurses to Pinnacle Partnership to like free food over there. We have the DA's office, get, you know, informing people about public safety. Um, we have great music in the background. So. Brockton is, has always been rich with resources, but our biggest problem is sometimes we don't get that information out, and this is a great way to get the information out to the community. Shout out to BCA, because BCA was really the first place that I did my first mural, and it was really a turning point in my career, I guess you could say now, because this is now how I'm making my income, and it was a big stepping stone, and it was something I was pretty nervous about because I hadn't worked that big before, but I just I just had trust in myself and trust that I would be able to create something that I would be proud of and I wouldn't stop working on it until it got to that point where, all right, I think this is this is where I want it to be. And um, yeah, so that was such a great opportunity. So thank you so much for that. And then just the continual opportunities of the windows. That was even my first window painting as well. And it really, um, it's opening my horizon so much and bringing me a bunch of different opportunities. So seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart. BCA is the best. Honestly, they are. It's not hard to give a shout out. They have been so good to 24 Hour Power. They really have. We we did a, a television show for two years that you that you people um, ran consistently every single week called Recovery Recreation. And um, yeah, they, I can't say enough about you. PCA is one of my favorite organizations here in Brockton, and um, I hope everybody tunes in. I tell everybody that they can watch our first of all meetings live uh, on uh, Brockton Cable Access, and they can also want, uh, come into BCA and. Uh, uh, you know, tell them, uh, do a uh, podcast, or they can uh, do an informational session where they can talk about, uh, you know, whatever event they have happening uh, and um, in the city or outside of the city. But uh, this is really, you guys are amazing, and you cover all of uh, all of Brockton. So I always encourage people to watch you, and you're the only reason I have Comcast at home. <laughs> so I just want to thank. Really from the bottom of our heart, from Mayor Sullivan's office, from me being the director of the wellness team, Brockton Community Access has been great. Working with Brockton Community Access and BCA has been wonderful. I look forward to today, but in the future to continue the success we're making. I'm the executive director at Brockton Community Access, and it's been a pleasure. If you don't know about us, please come visit. We'd love to meet you. You can go to bcatv.org, and you can set up a time to come in and take a tour. It's your community access media center. We'll train you how to use the equipment. You can do your own show. You can do your own podcast, or you can volunteer and help us on all our productions throughout the city.